Okay, so at the end of the last video, I said if you take your glasses off and instead of looking at them, looking through them this way, if you look through them this way but with the same eyes, obviously you have the same eyes, but I mean if you look through them backwards but still line your right lens up with your right eye and your left lens up with your left eye, if you don't have progressive lenses, you'll still see it exactly as well as you do this way. Progressive lenses, then all bets are off because now they're upside down. Okay? Um, all of that to say, most lenses, like a magnifying glass, doesn't have like a right side and a wrong side. Right? Like so we can make things bigger, but it doesn't matter which way I hold the lens. So usually they're reversible. And thus, as long as like the two sides have the same curvature. So they have an F on each side, okay? Normally we would say they also have a C, like mirrors did on each side, which would be twice F. But because it's not clear that there's actually a sphere here, instead of calling that point C, we now call it 2F. But you might be able to uh, intuit that it's the same point. Okay, so still a principal axis, still principal focus, points, uh, foci this time, um, and now the C's have become 2F. The one other point that you need to know for a lens is the center point, which is an O, and it's called the optical center. The optical center. Okay. Um, so remember our rays from uh, mirrors. They're going to be very similar here. But there's a, something that changes. I'm just looking for a thin tip. So remember our light rays that came in parallel to the principal axis. Oops, could you imagine that was parallel? A little better. Um, this time they're not going to get reflected off. This time they're going to get refracted as they pass through. So like if that was our normal, going from less dense to more dense, less to more, it's going to bend towards, so it's going to bend down here. And now it's going to go from more to less, and so it's going to bend away, which is down again. And it's going to go through F on the other side of the lens. This time, if an image ends up over here on the opposite side to where the object was, so let's imagine that our object is here. Um, this side is the real side for the image. Okay? Um, if we take a different light ray and send it in, para, um, let's say, through F, like we did... No, oh, actually, before I do that, if I send another light ray in parallel to the principal axis down here, going from less to more, it's going to bend towards, which means it's going to bend up. Going from more to less, it's going to bend away, which means it's also going to bend up. And look where they cross. If I did that with a whole bunch of parallel light rays, they would all cross at F. A convex lens is a converging lens. And this is why earlier I said, I hope you have the mirrors straight in your head. Because it was a concave mirror that was a converging lens and that had a converging mirror and that had five cases. But now it's the convex lens that is going to be converging and have five cases. It was the convex mirror that was diverging and only had one case. Now it will be the concave lens that will be diverging and only have one case. Okay, so they're just the opposite, which will mean that they could be, one will, if you know one, the other one will be really, really easy to remember. It will also mean that because they're so much the same, they could screw you up. The good news, and it is good news, I am not being sarcastic, there are two equations for lenses. I just want to flip this over so we could draw one more diagram here. Okay, um, there are two equations for lenses. My one more diagram. 
don't. The rule usually is draw your lens and then do the center line. Oh, but it wasn't too bad. Not quite in center, but close. So here's F, here's 2F, here's F, and here's 2F. If I put an object somewhere out here, okay, goes in parallel to the principal axis, as we saw on the other side, um, goes in through F, and I'll do these for real tomorrow. And it's going to get bent in such a way that it's going to come out parallel to the principal axis. This will be my image. Okay? So, two equations. This distance is known as my DO. And it's the distance along the principal axis to from the object to the optical center. The distance... This distance where the image shows up is my di, and the equation known as the lens equation, and sometimes even known as the lens maker equation. It's going to look familiar. You might recognize it. It's 1 over f is equal to 1 over do plus 1 over di. Doesn't that sound familiar? I bet you're thinking, I think you've seen that somewhere before. And if you want to figure out if the lens is magnifying, uh, like if it's my magnifying glass, if it's making it bigger or smaller, there's also an equation for it. Um, the seven dwarfs really like it because it's hi ho, di do, pico, which also should look awfully familiar. Exactly the same two equations as there were in mirrors, okay, exactly, and everything stands for the same stuff. Uh, the, really, the only difference is this time it'll be 2F instead of R, but the good news is it's twice as far from the lens as the F is. Okay, so we're going to stop there with theory. Tomorrow you will need colors because we're going to draw ray diagrams. We're going to get our three rays, and then we're going to do our five cases. So tomorrow you need colors. But for today, I want you to do some questions with the, these equations, okay? And if any of the questions ask you to draw, don't do it yet. We'll get to the drawing tomorrow, okay? Very good. Oh, actually, I still have 2 minutes and 10 seconds. So if you do want to draw, one ray goes in parallel to the principal axis and comes out on the opposite side of the lens through F. One ray goes in through F on the same side as the object and comes out parallel to the principal axis. And the third one is the one that's a little bit new. It, if it passes through, not C, but the optical center, it will pass straight through and not be refracted. Okay, so if it's passing through the optical center, it means it's hitting the lens perpendicular, and as a result, it does not get refracted. Okay, so those are our three rays for the convex lens, the converging lens, and they should seem awfully familiar. Going in parallel to the principal axis, but this time coming out through, getting refracted, so it comes out through F on the opposite side of the lens. Going in through F, gets refracted so it comes out parallel to the principal axis on the opposite side of the lens. And passing through the optical center, it will pass straight through without getting refracted at all. So now, if you want to do some of the diagrams, if it asks you for any of the homework problems, you can. Okay? Um, and we will do cases, and I'll go over these again tomorrow in class.